this is Ray, and once again we're back with Life and Vibe, and the person that I'm taking a look at today is a young lady uh, by the name of Veronica Shire, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, something to that nature, and she is a person who has not only gone from a number of different MLM businesses and just business opportunities in general, but has also made the pivot to Christ. And I don't want to upset anybody who is a religious person. I myself grew up in the Church of England, got confirmed, baptized, went to church, served at the altar, uh, and so I have had some upbringing in a religious manner, I guess, if you want to say. Um, so I just kind of always question anybody who uses their religion just to kind of sell something. Uh, I do not like that. I have family who are also Southern Baptists, went to Liberty University, and anybody who's in the United States and remembers a person by the name of, oh God, uh, Jerry Falwell, <laughs> I got there, uh, then you'll be familiar with that particular branch of the Southern Baptist. He's pretty influential. He's obviously deceased. His son got into some scandal with his wife and a young man. And so she uh, has now kind of gone and not only gone into this very woo-woo uh, sort of MLM, which is doTERRA, she also has started to use Christ. This has had um, over almost 3,000 views um, on her Instagram. I'm really not too sure how long it goes on for. I just happened to see it, uh, and I saw that it was just posted maybe about a week ago, and so I started to listen to the first part of it, and I just thought, oh my goodness, because she is trying to think that she is now a health healer, I think, and it's really, she's really dangerous, and she's just a opportunist in all manners and I'm going to apologize because her voice is really monotone but anyway if you like this type of content hit the like hit the subscribes um, make a comment if you want to it's always fun I'm about to have big surgery my dog is trying to play with me down here I'm, I'm about to have big surgery tomorrow and so I don't know how much batch filming I'm going to be able to do. I need to get some other things obviously ready today. And um, so anyway, but let me just get her started. Uh, let's go with Veronica uh, once again. Um, they always seem surprised that they are going live. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? My shirt says, make kindness viral, so you guys, hi, you guys are gonna, um, I've been good, my love, thank you. You guys are gonna be kind to me, because I was not intending to come on live today, but here we are. Um, actually, I wasn't even intending to go on stories, but then my dog's eye got healed through an oil, and I just had to share. <laughs> Did she just say her dog's eye was healed by an oil? I don't think putting an essential oil by your dog's eye would be recommended by any veterinary that is legitimately licensed and certified in any country on the globe. And so for <laughs> God, girl, can we call the Humane Society <laughs> for animal welfare? Oh my God, and the kindness. Because why would you not be 
thinking that somebody would be upset that you're putting an oil by your dog's eye. Oh my God, these people are out of control. Anyway, <laughs> let me let her continue, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. I can't believe we just started. I'm not even five seconds. <laughs> I have two dogs. This is why this is a problem to me. And then I was like, well, everyone already saw me like this, so let's just show up. Um, but I've seen a few things that I wanted to address, and not even address, just give an opinion on, because the uh, internet is so full of opinions. And I think that so many people for Well, aren't you here right this second giving your opinion? I mean, you don't even have any licensure or credentialing or any regulation or watching you. And you're here absolutely giving your opinions at all times. So I'm curious to hear how this continues. Wow. <laughs> Girl, you're the epitome of giving an opinion. And yes, I'm drinking the devil's juice. Forget to tap into their needs and what is right for them in their respective season of life, of life, because you're just copying what you saw someone do that looked good. So because you're confused about your own life, instead of asking more questions about what you currently desire, you just want to do whatever someone else is doing. Which is why when I go to recruit people into my team, I really yeah. ask them, like, do you have a love for wellness? <laughs> well at least she's being honest she's just recruiting people i love the honesty there so that's great uh a love for wellness uh let's hear how this continues because as everybody gets reminded on my channel i am a registered nurse i'm trained to be a nurse practitioner specializing in adult gerontology acute care and currently in school for that so but i hear somebody who was previously a failed journalist because in my mind anybody going to journalism school and going to local journalism networks knows there's no money to be made that's where you start out and cut your teeth and hope that you'll be able to be hired by a larger station in a larger city or go to a larger network that's what always but you're competing with a lot of other people who have also been to journalism school or have family in the industry and have kind of you know sorry about that i'm getting my nose fixed tomorrow have their uh, ability to meet people very easily within the industry because they have family already in it. It makes it so much easier. So, you know, recruiting for wellness. Oh, goodness, girl. Let me hear. Because you have no ability to decide if somebody has the knowledge of wellness. Do you have a love for healing? Do you... Um, so I'm seeing a message from Power Mind CEO and girl, there's some amazing things coming right up. So stay tuned. I'm so excited. I wish I could share, but not yet. But anyways, so I wanted to get on here because there's so much talk on the internet right now. And guys, I think we would be lying if we would say that we see people posting that they've made 30K a week and it doesn't perk up your ears. And the reason why I'm even talking about this, so drop a one in the chat if you know. Veronica, do I need to contact the FTC because you are making income claims? Who's making 30K a week? Can you please clarify a little bit further? Because, I mean, I would love to let somebody know that you're claiming that you're suddenly making $30,000 a week. Do pray tell. Continue. <laughs> I mean, these people, they just get on here, you know, it's so bad. And then they have the audacity to say that people who go to years to study medicine and are legitimately taking licensure and have to follow credentialing regulations and boards and so forth are trying to be 
you know, complaining that people are having opinions because I do have an opinion and I believe people like you are dangerous because you just are selling nonsense. But, and you're selling nonsense not only as far as healing, but you're selling nonsense because you're going to tell people that they're going to be making this insane amount of money along the way. You're just out of your, and then you tell it, you say it's because of Jesus. God, it's the least Christian thing I can think of. What MRR is. Grifter. Drop a one in the, the chat. Worst. But the reason why I thought I would address it also is like I was on a call, a very long strategy call today with one of my team members, and we were talking about this. And like the way that I lead is like, yo, we're gonna be honest, we're gonna talk about everything. I don't have expectations for you on how you need to live your life because it's your life and it's not my life. Um so, see you in bit upline. I'm coming to kill it. Ah, I'm so excited. But the whole point is while we were having this conversation, I expressed how I felt and I was like, I feel like other people need to hear this. So, anyways, here we are. So, MLM. Why do I do MLM? Why do I love MLM? So, multi level marketing gives you access to a product that you could represent. And it's a product, I mean, you could choose what product you represent. There's so many on the market, so many different MLM companies. And in a world where there's affiliate marketing, why do I choose MLM? Well, the reason is because you get to build teams. Um, that I'm going to stop her for a second. It's not affiliate marketing. There's a very distinct difference between the practice and business of affiliate marketing, which is, for example, if I had a product that I loved and I put a link down below and you as the person viewing my video went down to that link and used it and purchased the product, I may receive a small commission for having sent you that way. That's an affiliate link. That's it. And it can be on different platforms. The MLM, and she's talking about, you know, the product and represent the different MLMs and so forth. Well, De uh, Veronica, you have certainly represented about, I think it's that we are aware of three different MLMs now. So you went first to Monet or Monat or whatever they like to call it and did the hair thing. And when that started to lose uh, money for you, you were offered an opportunity at iGenius and so I believe you took your downline or as much as you could over to iGenius and I think you kind of hooked up a little bit with the WeFab chicks over there which are a whole different sort of messy hot mess of young women trying to scam other young women which I think is even really really something that should be just not you know, something that other women should even revere at all. But, you know, they're out here doing that. And I believe, you know, they just did not have the understanding of what... I mean, girl, how are you so late to every party? Because you went to iGenus and tried to sell the crypto right at the very end of the crypto buzz. I mean, it had been going on for years at this point. By the time you had been moving over to iGenus to buy some crypto, I can let you know... Even I had spent a couple of bucks buying some crypto on some platform that went down with the FX scandal. <laughs> so I couldn't believe it when I heard they were going there. I was like, no one's going to make money. And then the cost to join iGenius was ridiculous. I mean, I don't know, but most of the people... I don't know who had $1,500 just like that. I, they were hoping there was still a lot of that pandemic money out there. And there wasn't anymore. So I think she realized that wasn't working out. So off this girl goes into saying, and she's out here. There's plenty of video evidence of her telling everybody all about this. She goes into the real estate business. And she goes into the real estate business right at the end of the hot market, after the interest rates start going up, again, you know, nobody's moving, the housing market is tanking, inflation is creeping in, and here's Veronica out here, 
going into real estate, trying to get into luxury real estate. I mean, again, late to the party, girl. You're late to the I mean, I can't think of anybody. I know so many chicks who, who behave like this in my hometown of Virginia Beach. And then, with that not working, here she decides that she's going to go treat, you know, take herself over to the woo-woo, doTERRA, doTERRA, whatever they like to call themselves, essential oil company, and start selling and flogging, as we would say in England, the essential oils. Talks about wanting people who, you know, love wellness when she has no expertise, no credentialing, and then, no experience. And then they want to come out here with that book and start telling me that cinnamon essential oil is going to take away gout. Okay, I may not be correct. I really don't care. But I'm sure somebody has claimed that out there. And that, I can promise you, is ineffective. And so you're just taking people's money. You could actually be doing more harm than good. And, and you're pretentious with it. Can't just, this one is a real problem. And I also think, and I don't care if this is a diatribe from, from hell and I'm on the devil's juice today. She is also, I understand, participating in Jesse Lee's accelerator program or has participated. So she is like six degrees of separation from Jesse Lee Ward. And this is just where the, this chick gets scary. And that monotone, just self-serving attitude. You're so dangerous. You're not even that bright girl build that bring in sales year after year and it grows with time and if you are fully connected with the product that you're selling it's very simple to build it oh and i forgot to say too the mlm model that this girl is trying and i'll call her a girl even though she's married is trying to uh pitch here for is the classic you know nobody but the top one percent or is making any money or somebody who's come over with a huge downline is making any money. Everybody else is losing money. About 99% of those people are losing money. And it's very expensive to participate in an MLM business. Not only are you expected to take your precious time to be a salesperson and, you know, do free advertising for this company, so this company never has to pay a marketing bill because you're doing everything for them, uh, which you will never be paid for. They will pitch you to have just a ton. I mean, if you see these people have just a ton of this stuff in their homes, and then you'll never make any money. It, the products are overpriced. They're never really what they say. I mean, it's just the worst. And I think every one of us is out here trying to save people's money because now that, you know, times could get tough, these businesses get really predatory and really try to sell this dream. And if you really do think that you can fix major health issues with an essential oil, I think you really do need to um, examine how you uh, think about health. An empire through just sharing, right? So I don't need to focus on manufacturing, the production, the shipping, none of it. This is my job. And I love it. God created me to speak. That's my superpower. In network marketing, I speak. And I lead and I help my team and I show them by example. So anyways, I learned that I love the industry. And the sad part was that when I was in the industry with my first company, I thought I didn't love the industry. And it wasn't about the industry. It was about the leadership of where I was at. Because I could see they were doing things to put people in boxes. Like, you can't do this. This is against this rule. And it was never against the rules. It was against the rules that they wanted to impose on their business. And I share this boldly because you each are individual 1099 contractors. We all are. So when you decide as someone that wants to pursue MLM, multi-level marketing, to align with a company... It better be a company that's going to give you what you desire because you're about to raise up their name. You're about to build up their brand, right? So within that first MLM that I did, I recognized, yo, like these people are greedy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, in many ways, they think of themselves first, second, and third. And it takes discernment to see that. I'm not going to argue about this. This is not what this life is about. Some people will be like, no, that's not it. And then other I know. She's going to say other people like me will say, absolutely, girl. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I believe she's talking about Monet. I believe that's the first multi-level marketing company that she was involved in. And so, to talk about greedy, this girl has gone to all the different types of businesses which just highlight greed. So you can dress it in a package of Christ and God and all of that speech, but your actions actually say otherwise. So you're just what they would call a false prophet, and they would be tossing you out the temple. There are people that can see through certain things. They'll be like, yeah, Veronica, I agree with you, but I'm staying here because the money's good. But what I recognize is that... I almost didn't want to do MLM because of that experience. And it took a year of reflection and recognizing and talking and learning to people that are like, that is not how we operate. Like when I told my mentors now in doTERRA some of the things that I experienced in my first company, and I was like, no, that's Why? true. And she's like, no, 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 you're lying. <laughs> And I was like, no, it's true. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that you, you know that you've seen those kinds of things or that you've been treated like what? that or that others that you know have been treated like that. And I asked so many hard questions because I was like, I don't want to join a company and then find out once I've made it to the top, things that I don't resonate with. And I wasn't on. Okay. Sorry, I apologize. My dog's decided for some reason they wanted to bulk over nothing and then the other one bulked. But, gosh, one, her voice is very monotone, so I'm just going to kind of point that out. And she just, I just, every one of these reps, it doesn't matter if it's this young lady or the one that we looked at the other day, all of them say the same things when they move from one company to the next. The first company oh, best company ever, it really resonates with me, I'm so glad to be here, they get all these people involved, and when they leave, they then suddenly, maybe two companies down, oh no, that company just, no, no, they were just not really that good, and that just didn't align with me, and you really have to find someone that aligns with you, and these people really align with me. Oh, gosh, it's just the same. I just don't know how people can't see through this. I mean, she knows what she's doing. I mean, she's not, you know, she, to talk about greed, girl, this is all about money for you. It's all money. Your heart. <sighs> Only looking at doTERRA, I was looking at another company. And when I asked some hard questions, I could see right through their BS. Like I could see what lied at the foundation through their words. And that's why you need to listen to people's words. But why? I see through your BS, Veronica, Barrow, Bay, whatever you want to call yourself. I see also through yours. You are just a hardcore grift. Oh, your voice too. Wow. Just so condescending, that tone. Oh, she's doing nobody any good but herself. Oh, I just hope this is the last company. Unfortunately, she's managed to garner such a following that she can get enough of a downline to sustain uh i don't think i genius was though she stayed there a very short amount of time i just don't think that was a business that was appealing to her audience and so now she over here with the christ the jesus and the woo woo and the and the oils mm, so bad girl i i smell stuff too watch their actions the way that people move and i and one of the questions i asked this other company was can i build my own courses and sell them and they wanted to like give me an answer that made me uncomfortable because it made me feel like i had to bend over backwards what? to make it happen i'm my own individual brand I come on this platform every single day to share value that i learned not just about a little product but about life okay i have to stop her and i don't want to courses and sell them who does that remind you of if anybody follows this type of content will be very understanding this is so reminiscent of so many of these people i mean it's not just jesse lee ward which may be the first person to bring to mind there's also the young lady colleen who runs the no shame sales game who took her sort of you know okay-ish MLM business and turned it into, you know, a 
passion project, I guess, you know, just basically courses to tell people that selling an MLM project was okay and not to have any shame in going out there and trying to pick up recruits and trying to give people these false lifestyles. So they love these coaching courses. Oh my God. Oh, it's the, you know, this is the dream that they want to get to is the, the selling. And of course, does she have a background in education? Has she ever designed a co coaching course? Would she know? Absolutely not. She was a journalist for about a few months, I'm guessing, out of, out of college. And ever since that time, she was dissatisfied with the money that she was making. She decided that that just wasn't enough for her and went in and saw that other people were making, you know, this crazy money for just selling some shitty shampoo, pardon my French, uh, online and as an MLM structure. And that she could dupe people into a dream because it's not the product that they only sell. It's this everything else that goes along with it. She's the worst. Oh my God. She, this young lady, young lady, you are just going to spend your lifetime in this. You're so distant. I just, honestly, for somebody who has worked hard my whole life like I have, to listen to this type of tripe from this sort of human person, this person is just offensive. And I don't but think that any company offensive. should be censoring what really I promote offensive. on my social media. I think that's complete and utter BS. And if you're compliant to those um, terms and conditions, not your company. You're probably someone that isn't as free spirited as me. But for me, it's like, no, sir, that's I'm not going to comply to that. It's not going to happen. So why do I share that? Because if you are someone that has a high level of creativity, you are a true influencer, not just an influencer that has a lot of followers, an influencer <laughs> that has a voice, that has an opinion. You have to make sure that when you affiliate with an MLM, it's an MLM that's not going to hold you back because they want you to be the face of them to grow them. Something that I love about doTERRA, they don't need me. <laughs> there are so many people popping out as diamonds month to month. Like I'm pretty irrelevant and diamond? I love that. And I hit the right. I don't know what a diamond is in doTERRA. I'm going to say that. I don't have their compensation plans. I just know they all have these different titles that they give themselves. And now she's going to humble brag how quickly she got to this. Because she obviously has brought down lines with her. I don't know how many followers she has on Instagram. I didn't look because I really don't care. I guess she has some type of following. And uh, I just, wow. I don't know how. How would people, I, 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 honestly, I would have really disliked this girl when I was younger. I would have found her just obnoxious and just, <laughs> I still find her that way. And I'm somebody who works very hard, owns property, has goals, is doing very well at grad school. I'm not a bragger, so I don't really want to say anything. I'm nervous about my surgery tomorrow. I pay everything in cash. I do it on my own and I take pretty good care of myself and um, I'm, and I'm in my mid fifties. So, you know, I'm listening to this young lady and I'm just thinking that she's really not a good person. In my the golden two months, which they usually say it takes, I don't know, like a year or something. And so I'm moving at a great pace, but at the same time, I don't need them to raise me up on a pedestal because it feels good to know, hey, they're a company that's so strong that I'm not what they're being built on. <laughs> no, but absolutely not. <laughs> why am I sharing this? <laughs> this girl is just, wow. Okay. I could say some braggy things about myself too, and I don't know. It is, you know, your mother would love to hear it, and your dad probably if they're still living. But you know, for my or your husband. But for most people, I guess there is a way that if you talk highly about yourself, it can almost seem a little bit uh, condescending and not very 
gracious and uh, just really bragging dishes too. So she talked about the fact that she went gold in two months. I mean, I just, I wish I could adopt that monotone voice. Oh, I'm just so wonderful. Don't you all want to be like me? My life is so fantastic. Thank you guys. Come on through. Um, this young lady, just she just went gold in two months and it usually just takes people a year. Oh my God, she's so amazing. I can't even remember the rest of the stuff she said because of her, you know, just constant humble brag. Oh, all right, Veronica, share your truth, girl. You're terrible. <laughs> because I'll it share all ties my hand in hand. I feel like a lot of the people that are being heavily swayed by MRR or people that have already been in MLM or currently are in MLM. So Veronica prayed on MRR a lot. I see some of my friends making a lot of money and I'm so happy for them. Um, but I also recognize we're in different paths in our life. And I think it's important to recognize what do you need out of your life and what's going to be good for you, not just in the now, but in the long term. So personally, the reason why I even decided to come into doTERRA was because I truly know and believe from the bottom of my heart that these products are changing the health of thousands of people around the world. I mean, this was a conversation I was having with my husband. I did not realize the word journalism was synonymous with a healthcare professional because it isn't and she spent about I don't know not very long in her original career and now she as which was journalism and then she went off into all these different multi-level marketing companies and also real estate so and now she's talking about health and wellness so why anybody would trust somebody who has just bounced from one type of profession to the next and would think that putting an oil on something would be good advice is beyond my comprehension. I mean, this was a conversation I was having with my husband over dinner tonight because we were just so amazed by the results that we got our dog in just seven hours with the frankincense oil. And I was like, honey, you don't get it. This <laughs> I didn't she say that the issue for the dog was by the eye. So she has just made a health claim, a veterinary health claim, that with frankincense, she was able to resolute the dog's eye problem within seven hours. Mm, that is one heck of a claim, girl. Oh my God. Anybody believing this is just, I'm sorry. This just sounds like dog endangerment. Oil that sits in our kitchen, it came from Somaliland. Because it's in Somaliland where frankincense grows best and doTERRA has part... What? Does that make a difference? Just because the frankincense came from somewhere outside of the United States, it makes it more able to be put by the dog's eye? I don't think that is enough evidence to stick it by your dog's eye. You are really a negligent dog owner. I have two dogs, and I would say any vet would think that you're horrendous. And I think you're horrendous any anyway. The energy, because you love that word that you give me, is just greedy. You're just greedy, and you're condescending, and you're pretentious. I just... I don't get how people like her because just hearing her talk ever since I've ever heard her the first time she's ever spoken, she's so just thinks she's so much better than everybody else. And she doesn't even try to hide the fact that she really does think she's better than everybody else, you know, rolled up in a humble brag that, uh, this, and then now she thinks she's actually able to direct things in people's health. This is how just much, you know, crazy, delusional, wild stuff. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use the word crazy, but it's just wild. Partnerships with the local farmers there where they distill the oil straight from the plant. They ship it to our um, headquarters in Utah. We test it, then we bottle it, then we test it again before shipping it out. And it's such a beautiful way 
in which we're transporting so. nature in a bottle. And the most beautiful journey I've been on is my health journey uh, and my healing journey. And my I would like you to ask the people in Somalia land how beautiful they think it is. God, just wow. What a just a just that face just says the smugness of this person. God, your parents did a horrible job with you. I'm just sorry. I don't like you. Care as a company your husband insane. enables you. And I wanted to build. I knew the MLM dream. But I grew my first initial MLM well, team still. as someone that wasn't in my most authentic. I mean, I love some gesticulation, but girl, please, keep the hand still. It's distracting me. It just makes you seem less genuine. I know you feel like it's like, you know, it's too much though. I know they teach you probably that in journalism school, but you like are way overkilling the hand gesture. Just keep it still. You're like all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. Authentic self. So I grew up with girls who wanted to grow with a version of me that I no longer that am. And I also grew it around people <gasps> who were very, just not my kind of people. You know, I had, like, I could feel tensions with people and people would say things that I didn't agree with. And when I wanted to say, hey, I don't think that that's right, then I was like, why are you so weird? And I hated being that. I hated being the person that felt weird because I saw the world from a different angle. And I wanted to build an organization where the vision was united in doing something bigger and greater for the world. I believe... I, I'm sorry to stop you, Veronica, but are you still at a place where you feel that you are needing to justify why you have been in so many MLM? I have... Sorry, I don't know what the acronym MMR is. I'm guessing it's some type of retail, and I'm just no idea. So, you know, she hadn't explained it either. So, there you go. That we could build well, a network marketing community with doTERRA that is filled of empowered women who have a heart for God and have a heart for healing and helping. And we love making money, but we also understand huh. that... I promise you... Uh, Jesus threw those types of people out of the temple, girl. So, you know, I'm sorry. All that prosperity gospel and Pentecostal and whatever the, you're preaching, I think is just, just you know, t distasteful. And I don't actually think it's based in Christian values. There's so much more to money. And there's impact. And there's community. About money, and there's connection. And there's growth. And there is wisdom that gets transferred from mentors. And I love my mentors because there are people who have so much wisdom and are so giving all the time. <laughs> and it's because that's the culture that they Yeah, as long as you're part of their downline and you're helping them with your large downline, making them money, then they're going to love you all day, girl. I mean, these people are just the kind of just people... That if you were at a cocktail party and you found out they worked at an MLM company, you'd probably be quickly crossing the room. Because I certainly would be. I'd be like, oh, God, these charlatans. And I wouldn't want to make a scene at a party. So I would just, you know, walk away as I do usually. Or just kind of like, I always have, I have heard it so many times. Like, oh, yeah, they're just doing so great over there. And then like a year later, I hear that they're no longer involved with that company. Most of my friends, thankfully, have then not pursued another company. They've just quit altogether the industry of MLMs. Um, but this young lady has decided that she has enough of a social media following that she can still make money from a downline and be enough at the top because she already pointed out she made it to gold in two months when it usually takes a year and I have no idea where gold sits on the compensation plan or how much doTERRA may have uh, enticed her with to come over to the company because I don't think she would ever be very honest about that I don't think this girl would be honest about everything anything and no you are not regulated to give any type of health advice so you are full of medical inf misinformation. You're really dangerous. I just don't think you get it, but you're just too pretentious to understand and condescending. 
an egotistical God. How does anyone want to listen to this person? God, I'd be so bored. Learned from the founders of doTERRA in a way that you could feel it. So anyways, I mean, I could go on for days and days and days. But that's why I'm telling you guys, when I joined doTERRA, there was a huge intentional mission attached to it. After a whole year of purging, of reanalyzing, rethinking, understanding who I am, who I'm not, what I could have done differently. What type of privilege does it take that you could take a year off just to do all of this analyzing and purging and re-examining? Is that when you were sitting in iGenius and then tried to go over to the real estate industry down in Miami and found out you were late to the party and interest rates were going up because you seem to be late to every party except Monet. So she's going to be grasping at straws and she's going to pitch it hard at doTERRA. She is all for the woo-woo and you're not licensed. God. Other scenarios of what I <laughs> want for my life today. I mean, it was a whole thing. 365 days or more of of oh. all of this. And then that's when I said, I love MLM because I love the job. I love the team aspect. I love the residual. I love the community. I love the empowerment. I love the products. <laughs> when you have a deep why and a deep mission in what you're doing, <laughs> game over. The results come yes or yes. Girl, you have so failed in the real world. You really have. Your journalism career just nosedive. Because when you realize you weren't going to make a lot of money from being in the journalism industry, you just decided, where can I make money? You are just, that's all you care about. That's, that's it. That's it. And now you've been years out of actually being in legitimate business. So it's going to be very hard uh, for you to dress up your experience now and go for a job interview and anything else. So this is all you've got left. And I think you're still pretty young. So I'd be really sad to have spent all those years at college. And now this is what I have, you know, got myself into is this holy heck mess. And then on top of it, she's got the audacity to think that she should be creating courses and selling them. What are you going to sell young women on? How to like get your life all like, messed up. I mean, I understand that everybody wants to be able to have some flexibility in their working time, but I will let you know, you do get it, but it does take a little bit of time in order to build that experience and that time with your company. I mean, if that's the route you want to go. And unless you have access to money and a lot of people who are investors, probably going to be pretty hard for the average person uh, unless they have a really cracking idea and it does happen to start a business it's just it's, it is difficult and to get that flexibility so I think before anybody starts spending a lot of money going to college maybe sit back and really think about it but this is not the path that I would suggest because 99% or more of the people that involve themselves in this business model lose money and this is why, you know, she's moved to different ones. I just think, and then her privilege of spending a year out. This young lady, you are wild. This is why nobody, <laughs> I think she's in Jesse Lee's sphere too. So she got it all going. She's trying to do like the whole thing. Ugh. Yes. Watch out. And Veronica's about. It's going to last. Like I know that what I'm building right now is it's month two. I mean, baby steps, right? But incredible things have happened that I don't even boast about enough because that's just not my vibe anymore. I don't need the whole world to know what I'm stacking or what. Girl, you just boasted, okay? I'm going to sound like your mother because I'm old enough to be your mom. You just spoke about the fact that you went gold in two months and it usually takes people a year. So if that was not a boast and then the fact that you could just take a year off to purge your life and analyze, you just, uh, you have no self-awareness then, which I think you probably do, but you just act like you don't. But I'm paying, you know, month to month to know that I'm succeeding. So the reason why I share that 
And I, I didn't mean that to be a subliminal jab <laughs> at all. But it's just something that we always do. And I mentioned this because then everyone's like always nitpicking words. And it's, it's just I don't want to be a part of the drama. Like, please, out forever. Um, but it's so much more. Well, if you want to be out forever, then get off the internet. That's it. Just to get off social media. Because we are going to nitpick everything you say, girl. Absolutely every word that you say. Every utterance. Right? So my mission right now is don't care so much more. Now you see this MRR thing and everyone's like, 30K a week. I made 7K today. I did this. And of course, I know the power of my voice. I know that if I sit here and I come and I sell you guys on a course that's only $500, you guys are going to sell it. And I know that I could probably get really rich doing that. So why have I personally decided not to do that? Well, personally, I feel like God has gifted me a unique set of gifts. So with the last company that I was with, iGenius, I was so... No, you just don't have enough experience in this MLM market to really convince people to the MMR market. Whatever MMR is an acronym for. I'm still trying to work it out. But whatever it is, it's obviously stupid courses that cost way too much money. Please, just, just whatever hashtag, obviously beginning with the letter M. M means uh, money, and that means your money is gone. You know, let's just be honest. God, you're, oh God, how, how is this possible? I just don't even get it. Where does anyone relate to this person? She's just, just the way she's sat cross-legged and just, she's so condescending with her. I just can't. Oh, sorry. A thousand five hundred dollar really? product a month. Uh, a piece, a pop. So I know Girl, I can sell. Girl, you don't even know. Whatever you think is the right price that day. Whatever 500 however. Because you just want to take people's money. So you can buy BS. Expensive products. So you can pay for this chick's life. So I know I could sell Sorry. this, right? Okay. So why that money, that's 500 part? Well... First and foremost, I have a project. It's going. It's because it's going to be nothing if so you look at Jesse Lee's. I'm going to stop her. At Jesse Lee's course, it's nothing. It's just going to go to line this chick's pocket. That's it. That's your money that should be going probably to an IRA, some type of investment, something that you would really like to have because this isn't going to work out. It never works out, okay? For very few people, it does. You look at these, looks like just the most ordinary looking people on the stage. And that's for a reason. It's to pull people who feel pretty ordinary in. And all they're going to do is take your money. And you're going to give your $500 to this girl right here. That's it. Enjoy. Something that you're very passionate about and you're putting your heart and soul into it. Don't let quick money sway you. Don't let someone else's dreams and someone else's wins be what gets you. You know, my friend that I'm watching that's making all this money, she's a mom. She's really busy. She's been burnt out by MLM. I feel like she doesn't see things from the perspective that I see it of. I want a community of women that I can empower that we could just like grow Steal as individuals. From. She's in a different stage in her life and it's not a bad stage. It's a stage I honor. Personally, I want something different. So same with you all. Like what I was mentioning before is I have a unique set of gifts. So what I'm focused on after I grow doTERRA, like probably within the next eight months, you will see me drop. What exact unique set of gifts do you provide the planet with, Veronica? You failed as a journalist. You failed as a Monet rep. You failed as an IG just rep. You failed in real estate, and now you're here claiming that you know about wellness in an essential oil MLM company. So what exactly do you offer a value other than you running your gob, as we say in England? My digital course. And I'm going to be selling to you all something on how to become your most authentic self or something on how to get your mindset peak so that you could perform better in business. I don't know, but it's going to be. Oh, because that's exactly what we all need is another. Sorry. She's got me quite angry because she's just the worst. Another mindset.
another mindset course. Yes, everybody. That is just the, 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 the that will solve every one of your monetary issues is a mindset change. That's it. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, that this girl has been able to come here and let me know because there's never been anybody to explain that before. Something that I've created that I can stand 150% behind the value. Because when I got a glimpse of the course, I was seeing things and I was like, I already know all of these things. Like, I can't sell that to someone and feel authentic to me. Right. And you can't make the most amount of money either if somebody else is also getting their little bit of money from that course. So you got to make everything yourself so you are making all the money. And you, who wants to buy a course from you currently? You got nothing to offer. You're a fa how to fail, how to fail in your early tw and throughout your twenties and marry some dude. But let's say you're someone that doesn't have any passion. You don't have any um, idea of what business Allegedly. you want to start. You're literally just in need of money. You're super broke, and you're just like, I need to do something fast. That could be a good idea for you. And even for people in my team, like if someone were to tell me they want to start doing that, I would be like, by all means. I mean, if it's someone that's telling me that they're just growing their business and they want to hit the top rank in doTERRA, I would say, do you really want to split your energy? And I, this is the link we're always trying to talk about between the MLM industry and the post personal growth and the course and the coaching and all that. They just all go hand in hand. It's all a money grab. It's all a scam. And just everyone be aware. That's it. Let, 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 let scammy scam continue, allegedly. Because that's something I had to ask myself. The answer for me was no, because no money was going to be enough to repay me for the energy. But guys, so many people are so easily swayed by money. And I want you all to recognize that like, you can build your own course of whatever you're passionate about and sell it. Or if you have nothing that you're passionate about, then that could be a good avenue for you. But the reason why I'm sharing this word is because I literally have been bombarded on social media about this and it's all these income claims and we're all trying to make money. To the point that I even like considered it. So I did oh, what I do best. Absolutely. I love she just says it for real. I mean, this is about the only time I'm going to like anything that she's said. And I still don't like you. And I'm going to be my absolute authentic self. You know, and again, I don't want any hate directed towards this person. I don't leave her any types of comments. I just think she's really dangerous because she just perpetuates every type of bad stereotype that this business spits out. You know, the going from one to the other, the claiming that they don't really care about money. With reality, that's absolutely all they care about because she said that she left journalism because she wasn't making any money. So then to, to then try to wrap it up into some type of altruistic and, you know, almost sent from God type business model is just absolutely the worst thing I think I've ever heard. And she at least is saying that people are selling these courses that aren't written by them and just, I mean, it's obviously some probably some copy and paste. Gosh, oh, this is one of the things that is just, I guess, you know, my generation, I've kind of, they're out there too. Everyone out here trying to win some money. The rest of us are just trying to make an honest living. And I make a pretty decent living and I don't feel any shame. And I've been making a decent living for many years doing this. I don't have to go from one grift to the next. Which is I take it to God. I'm like, what's up, homie G? Talk to me right now. Well, that, that's not how God result. works. I had a conversation with my pastor about this. And no, you know, that's not how it works. In, in At least in the Church of England. I mean, like the Episcopal Church and the Protestant Church. So they don't. It's not like he individually got. It's a little different from that. It's not quite that focused to each individual. 
It's a little bit more community. Opportunity. And as I got my answers, I recognized, hey, everyone has different needs. And for some people, it is exactly what they need. Right now, in the position that I am in my life, money is not my main concern. This has been a ride so far. And so I am going to end this as part one. I think just get ready for part two. I'm going to be uploading that in a couple of days. I have a big surgery coming up and so I'm just going to be out for a little bit and so I've pre-recorded some content that I hope to be editing and uploading for you all to see and so just be weary of this girl and I look forward to seeing you all in part two. If you like this type of content please hit the like, please subscribe and hit a comment as well below sorry make a comment below anyway all right everyone take care bye